So I'm going to georeference this topographic map without using any GIS software. To do so, the first thing that we are going to do is to set uh, coordinate points inside of Google Earth Pro. Those coordinate points will correspond to the four corners of this map. And so the first thing that we are going to do is to input the first corner, which is here, projection. So for me, I'm going to use UTM. So the first thing to do is to set Google Earth Pro to UTM to do so head over to tools and then click on options and under show lat launch select universe transverse mercato click on apply and then ok now I will go ahead and input this first corner intersection between this x coordinate and this y coordinate to do so head over to this button and click on it and here I will name it one first point and make sure here for the zone put the correct one so for me my date my map is located here in California and it's in zone 11 s and I will input those two first coordinates so I will zoom into my first point I will then add the three other corners using the same method So now that I have my four points, I'm going to add my image as overlay. To do so, click on here this button, add image overlay. And let's name it and click on browse to go to where you saved your topographic map. Go to your work folder, click on your topo map. And you can see that we imported our map. Now you can play with transparency here. And let this window open and we will try to resize this map by clicking on this green border and now in order to play with our corners we need to go here to location and then we will click on convert to lat launch and now you can see that we can play with our corners I will go ahead and set the first point to the intersection between those two coordinates and I will do the same for second corner and they will do the same for the two remaining corners and now you can see that my map is perfectly georeferenced so keep in mind this reference is not very accurate it's just to give you an idea where the topographic map is located and you can play with the setting like for example here you can decrease transparency in order to view your features if you, and if you are happy with your result you can click on ok so i hope that you got some useful tips from this tutorial if so please like it and subscribe if you want to get more tutorials